Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to tell you and show you exactly what metric is very beneficial to Trump right now when it comes down to the 2020 election and why he's going to be able to win through this metric right here. Joe Biden, who's going to be the Democrat nominee if things are going the way they're going right now, I would expect him to still be the nominee unless we have a nuclear option like Hillary Clinton jumps in or if Elizabeth Warren decides to drop out, or Bernie Sanders, which that I just don't see happening, especially with the fact that the DNC won't really want them being the nominee, and it looks like Biden being the establishment favorite at least of now in December 5th of 2019, it's looking like Trump is going to be going against Biden. That being said, take a look at Biden's unfavorable rating. Biden used to be one of the more popular politicians about back when he announced in April he was plus 10, plus 14 in approval, and polls showed him beating Trump by 15 points. Well, that seems to be changing. Right now, the polling aggregate for Joe Biden's favorability shows him at 43.8% approval. He was up by 50. He's tanked to 43. His unfavorable rating has gone from the high 30s to now in the high 40s. Now compare this to Donald Trump. Trump sits here with an approval rating of 43.8%. Yes, his disapprovals are high, but you have to understand the fact that Biden is not in the public eye as much as Trump. He will be. Biden is not getting attacked as much as Trump. He will be. For Biden to be down three points already, Trump, yes, Trump is down nine, but still, it doesn't even matter. Trump had a negative 30% approval uh, net rating in Wisconsin, and he still won the state over Hillary Clinton, who had a minus 20. The bottom line is Trump will do a better job of convincing the people that disapprove to vote for him, as Joe Biden will be able to do that people disapprove of Trump. Just because you disapprove of Trump is not enough to get you to come to the voting booth. Yes, around 45% according to the midterms, which was a left skewing electorate, did strongly disapprove of Trump. In most swing states, like even places like Florida, Texas, Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, that number was 40 and below. That's not going to be enough to get you to go out and vote for Biden. The guy's an anti-turnout machine. He's not going to do better with Hillary in the cities. He just won't. The guy is clearly erratic. The things that he says, it makes Trump look perfect, and Trump is not necessarily perfect himself when it comes to gaffes. I think everybody can admit that. But Biden is roughly three times worse. Talking about kids feeling up his hairy legs, uh, challenging a guy to a boxing match and an IQ test that dared to criticize him. I mean, that's, <laughs> it's just insane. I, I The only thing I'm afraid of is the fact that he's so insane that people are going to want to vote for him. Uh, but I really don't see that being the case right now, especially with the fact that he's just not necessarily having a bold stance on any issues. He doesn't really talk about policy very much. Uh, and really, he's not really any different than any career politician that you would see. But the fact that Trump's approval and Biden's approval are the same is telling because Trump's approval is staying the same. If anything, it's going up and Biden's going down. And a lot of people say, well, you have to have a 50% approval rating to win re-election. Well, that's been true in every case because the, the opponent of the president has also had a very high approval rating. Joe Biden's approval rating right now, it's in the gutter. Uh, and it's also going down. Trump's approval rating is staying the same. If anything, it's gone up over the past couple of years. And if anything, will rebound. I think 43.8 is what it, the aggregate had in the midterms where the electorate was 45. It's very possible it's 46 right now. It's 47. I always look at The Economist because it's on the aggregate more than not. And right now, The Economist actually has Trump's approval at minus 6, has it at 46. It has Biden's at 44, and it has it as minus 5. That's great news for Donald Trump because the people that disapprove of both typically will favor the incumbent party in a one, one of incumbent parties led for one term. Typically, if an incumbent party is led for two terms, they will go for the change candidate. Biden's not a change candidate. Trump is an incumbent with a strong economy. It's looking now that a recession probably will be you know, staved off until 2021, possibly even 2022 or later. But we'll really see what happens. But it looks like right now... Donald Trump's approval rating is high enough 
to the point where he will get reelected, especially if he's going up against somebody like Joe Biden. And it just really shows the Democrats are jokes. And Biden's not going to have the fundraising advantage Hillary Clinton had. Donald Trump can just put Joe Biden's crazy things, crazy statements into ads. Just play it throughout the suburbs. Have ads talking about how good the economy is. There's no way he's going to lose. There's just no way. Yeah, I mean, the guy's not perfect. I think everybody can understand that he does have flaws, but his flaws are clearly overlooked. And when you put him against somebody that has the flaws that he so-called has, well, I'm just going to tell you, that Trump is going to do better than Biden. Trump will beat Biden. He's he's guaranteed if Biden's the nominee. It's like, even though the polls so oh, the polls show Biden up by 10, 15. Okay, well, the aggregate approval is identical. So people being undecided might choose Biden now. Once they really find out more about Biden, they're going to kind of change their game. And Democrats are going to start attacking each other. I mean, the Iowa caucuses are in two months. If any Democrat wants the chance to be president, because make no mistake, when they're up there, they're not up there to stop Blumpf. They're up there to become president of the United States. They want to run for themselves. They don't just want to run to stop Trump. If that was the case, they would all rally behind one nominee. And that's not really happening. Yeah, they're dropping out, but we'll really see what happens when it comes down to it all. But as of right now, guys, I just can't see Biden beating Trump. Uh, The Rust Belt states in particular, people are going to mention, are always going to say, oh, but Biden's from Pennsylvania. He's going to do well in the Rust Belt. He's getting those voters back. That's not going to be enough to change the trends that have been happening for the past three election cycles in those states. Biden is not going to win the state of Wisconsin. I can tell you that much. He's probably not going to win Michigan. And Pennsylvania, uh, he's probably not going to win it either. The guy supports NAFTA. The guy supports TPP, even more so than Hillary did. He might backtrack it a little bit now, but that's even more of a reason for people to vote against him because they call him a two-faced politician. Uh, It's very clear on that. The Rust Belt is not necessarily going to come out and vote for Joe Biden because of that. And the trends have shown it trending in the Republican direction. Sure, Biden might do better than Hillary in places like Georgia, Texas, or Arizona. It's not going to be enough to flip any of those states. Trump will do better in Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, possibly in the Northeast. Uh, He'll do better in Iowa, Ohio. Early polls don't matter, but the favorability rating is something to watch. And knowing Biden, it will only go down. And comparatively, it might have an advantage effect for Trump. I mean, I don't think Trump's approval would have been at 40 or 38 percent if he wasn't running against Hillary Clinton. I think it would have been more towards the low 30s. Trump's probably going to gain a few points attacking Biden. Trump's immune to attacks because he's been attacked so much. And I I keep telling the left that it's just not the best uh, course of action to just hit Trump nonstop because people become numb to it. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad that's the case. And let Biden keep having his gaffes. Just let it happen. Trump's going to wipe the floor with Biden in 2020. For a number of reasons, it's going to be hilarious and it's going to be spectacular. So thanks everybody for watching. Please give this video a like. Please subscribe. We just hit 17.5K. Can we get to 18K? Help me get there. Subscribe at the bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Join the Discord. Donate to the Patreon. Follow me on social media. Links in description. And thanks everybody for watching. Red Eagle, out.